I don't know about you, but I've already blown it. I've already blown my New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Maybe you have too. And when we come into this new year, we think about blowing already our resolutions, not even five, six days into it. But for many people, they feel like they've blown their life. They feel like they have have so many past regrets, mistakes, fears and worries about the future and feel even now so burdened and consumed by things and just down and depressed and in a pit and stuck. Well, there's a spiritual principle, I think, and Meister Eckhart says it. He says, be willing to be a beginner every single morning. Be willing to be a beginner every single morning. Maybe we put too much pressure on ourselves for life and even our spiritual life and faith to be expert at it. And there's nothing worse, is there, than a Christian know-it-all, that someone who's an expert at it? What about this beginner's spirit? The sense of being a beginner again and again and again. Maybe that's where Jesus gets at it, where he says, be like a child. Yeah, we're called later in Paul to mature in our faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe maturing constantly means to be a beginner and have beginner's mind. To wake up, to be willing to wake up in the morning even, free of all past judgments. To be willing to wake up full of curiosity and a spirit of adventure and wonder. To be willing to look at our partner and people in our lives as if we have never seen them before, full of wonder and curiosity about them. And the result of being a beginner every single morning is a sense of love, of peace, of joy. So begin again and again and again with, with expectation and wonder and desire to learn. Forget everything. I've heard it said this. Forget everything you've learned about God and faith every seven years or so and start over and begin again and again and see everything as if for the first time. And I think it says it beautifully. This principle, I think, is beautifully said in Lamentations 3, verses 22 to 23. It says, the steadfast love of the Lord endures forever. No, no. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. God's mercies never come to an end. How long is never? Never, ever, ever, ever. And God's mercies are new every morning. So if you wake up in the morning saying, good God, it's morning, rather than good morning, God, then maybe we need to be challenged to be beginners again. The mercies are new. So can we be merciful with ourself <laughs> every single morning? Begin again and again, not only knowing God's mercy, but be merciful with ourself and begin again and again. So I think God's word, God's speaking to me. Well, yes, I hear voices through Lamentations 3 on this new year. And through the words of Emerson that also come to my mind. So here's what I hear God saying. Finish, Emerson says this, and then uh, this Lamentations 3 verse as well. But Emerson says, finish each day and be done with it. <laughs> you have done what you could. Some blunders and absurdities no doubt crept in. Forget them as soon as you can. Tomorrow is a new day. You shall begin it serenely and with too high a spirit to be encumbered with your old nonsense. <laughs> Man, he nailed it. Absurdities and nonsense that I burden myself with every day and fail to begin again and again. So I hear God saying, my love never ceases. My mercies are new every day. Start fresh. Start over. Begin again and again, and again, and again. Be willing to be a beginner 
every single day. May that give us a sense of freedom and adventure on this thing called life. So until next time, may you live all the days of your life.